This is part 25 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss strongly typed view in ASP.NET Core MVC. There are three ways to pass data from a controller to a view in MVC. We can use view data, view bag, or a strongly typed view. We discussed using view data and view bag in our previous two videos. In this video, we'll discuss using a strongly typed view to pass data from a controller to a view. At the moment, we are using view bag to pass the employee model object from this details action method of our home controller to the details view. Now, we don't want to use view bag anymore to pass the employee model object. So, I'm going to get rid of that line and we want to pass this employee model object to the view by passing it to this view method. Notice from the IntelliSense, one of the overloaded versions of this view method takes the model object as a parameter. So using this overloaded version, let's pass this model object to the view. In the details view, to access this employee model object, we use at model property. We know the employee object has got name, email and department properties. But notice when I type dot on this at model property, those properties don't show up in the IntelliSense. That's because at the moment, this details view is not a strongly typed view. We'll discuss how to convert this to a strongly typed view in just a bit. But before that, let's display the name property value. And let's do the same with email. And finally, department. With these changes in place, let's run our project. Notice we see the employee details as expected. Although this works, at the moment our details view is not a strongly typed view. Notice when I hover the mouse over this department property, it shows up as dynamic property. And when I type dot on this at model property, we do not get IntelliSense. Since we don't have IntelliSense, we can very easily misspell these properties and introduce typographical errors. And since these are dynamic properties, they're only resolved at runtime. So at compile time, we'll not come to know about the typographical errors we made. With a strongly typed view, we don't have all these problems. Now to make this view a strongly typed view, we use at model directive. So at the top of this view file, we use at model directive with a lowercase m and specify the model for this view. We know the model class for this view is our employee class and that class is in employee management dot models namespace. With this at model directive in place, our details view is now a strongly typed view. Notice from the IntelliSense, when I hover the mouse over this at model directive, it knows it is working with the employee model object. And when I press dot on this at model property in the IntelliSense, we see all the employee object properties, ID, name, email, department. And if I misspell a property name, we get a red squiggly right away, indicating that we have made an error with the name property. So the best part of a strongly typed view is we get IntelliSense and compile time error checking. So to create a strongly typed view, we use at model directive to specify the model type the view will be working with. To access the model object properties, we use at model property. The important difference to keep in mind is with the directive, we use a lowercase m and with the property, we use an uppercase m. It is usually better to avoid using view bag and view data. The problem with view bag and view data is that they do not provide compile time type checking and IntelliSense. Without IntelliSense support, we developers cannot be very productive and the chances of misspelling and making typographical errors are very high. We'll only come to know about these errors at runtime. So for these reasons, we usually do not use view data and view bag. The preferred approach is to use a strongly typed view. Unlike view data and view bag, a strongly typed view provides compile time type checking and IntelliSense. But if we look at our application, we are still using view bag to pass page title from our home controller to the details view. So the question that comes to our mind at this point is, how can we use a strongly typed view and pass both the employee details and page title from our home controller to the details view? 
Well, this is one use case where we can use a view specific model called view model. We'll discuss view models in detail in our next video. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching.